Today, let's take a look at MicroStrategy. Over the recent period, it has grown by 50%, which is a significant increase. We'll also look at Bitcoin, making sure to note its current volatility, which is currently decreasing. As usual, I'll demonstrate how to profit whether the stock is rising or falling. Let's start with the stock. I'd like to remind you that the company owns over 200,000 Bitcoins from before. In the previous account, I discussed a report showing the company's increasing Bitcoin holdings, indicating its strong reliance on Bitcoin. I'll also show the correlation which almost perfectly matches the company with Bitcoin. We saw a breakdown in correlation in February 2021, when the company grew much faster than Bitcoin. Currently, we're experiencing a similar breakdown in correlation with MicroStrategy growing much faster than Bitcoin. Until this correlation is restored, I expect the company to eventually fall. Now let's see what has happened recently. According to the report, the company has grown by 50%, which is indeed significant. Let's look at the volatility. Currently, volatility is starting to decline, reaching 100% because the company has been consolidating for some time. Yes, we've had growth in the last two days, but again, we're currently in a sideways trend without a clear direction. Let's take a look at the smile of volatility. As we can see, volatility towards the upside isn't increasing, but towards the downside, volatility is rising. This suggests that put options are more expensive than call options, which is actually normal in this situation because investors and traders hedge their positions by buying put options. Now let's examine the historical and implied volatility. What has changed here? The implied volatility currently differs from historical volatility because historical volatility is very curved. This is actually a complex situation. I always remind you that you can profit not only by trading the asset itself, for example, buying and then selling at a higher price, but also through volatility. Why do I say this? Because volatility always returns to its historical norms, meaning volatility has a point to which it tends to revert. However, in this situation, we cannot make such a conclusion because volatility here must increase significantly in the near term and decrease in the longer term. You can actually develop a strategy around this, for example, selling nearer term options and buying farther term options, but it's quite a complex strategy. Let's see what the artificial intelligence suggests for us. How will it formulate a strategy for us? I select August. We say volatility will increase, for example, by 20%, and it offers US strategies with different probabilities of profit. The strategy I'm talking about is complex right away because it involves various strategies, different dates and expirations, so you can't just open this strategy easily. Furthermore, this strategy needs to be managed, and while it's interesting and can lead to significant earnings, it's only for those who know how to operate with options. But again, I remind you never trust artificial intelligence. Whether it's a blogger or a bot, you should always use your own judgment first, and only then will you succeed. Let's return to volatility and look at the options trading volume. What's happening here, as we can see, is that there is a huge volume centered around the $1,600 and $1,500 levels concerning call options. For put options, we have a large volume centered around the $1,450 level. So as we can see, $1,500 is a very significant barrier that we simply cannot overcome. This is solely due to this huge volume. Yes, someone might ask, why did we stop at exactly $1,500 and start falling from this level? I'll show you the answer. It's simply the trading volume in the option. It's a huge barrier at the moment, an impenetrable wall, that stop the price. But again, if we break through it and we can break through this wall with significant volume, meaning some news comes out and the trading volume of the stocks increases, then we can overcome this barrier. But the next price awaiting us is $1,600. Let's look at it. Yes, it's actually even higher than the $1,500 price. Yes, we have a small volume at $1,500, but most likely we'll overcome it without even noticing. So the next target on the rise is $1,600. Again, pay close attention to this. I'm just specifying the levels. And these levels aren't made up. I'm not drawing imaginary support or resistance lines like Fibonacci or others. I'm telling you what the options market tells me. Yes, the derivative market is saying, look, there's a barrier at this level, at that level, and that's it. Think what you want. I'm just conveying market data. We also have significant volume at $2,000, but let's start again. Where can the stock go? I remind you of my philosophy. I can't predict price movements. I have no idea where the stock will go. The question is, how do you make money? When I say that money can only be made through skillful options management, it means you buy and sell stocks according to your management. My management is based on mathematical analysis, on probability theory. I structure positions so that no matter where the stock goes, we make money. Let me demonstrate this to you right away, but first let me show you the 3D volatility. Here we have all the information on volatility, expiration dates, and strikes. I often use this graph to create a sound position. Professionals frequently utilize this tool. Now having analyzed all the information, let's move on to the strategy. The strategy looks like this, no matter where the stock goes, we make money. That is, if the stock rises to 1,900, dollars we earn $55,000. If the stock falls to $1,250, we earn $39,000. So the profile is always positive, but again, here they use sold options. If the price starts to rise or fall very sharply, you can lose money here. I show this solely for you to see the principle I use for striking. I definitely do not advise you to open this strategy because you will definitely lose money 
because it needs to be managed. That is, you need to buy stocks at a certain moment. You need to sell stocks at a certain moment. You need to hedge. You need to buy options, sell option strategies. It's complex, so it needs to be managed. Also, I definitely show where the market is looking and what it predicts. Again, this is our market forecast based on the mathematical distribution, that is, the bell curve. Anyone who understands mathematics, especially higher mathematics and probability theory, will immediately understand what is being talked about here. So what does the market predict for us, for example, by mid-July 2024? As we see, the market says that the price is more likely to be around $1,100 or $1,200. Here I specifically show you that is, in July, the price will be below these values. Again, this is what the market anticipates. I'm not saying this, the market does. Next, if we look, for example, at January 2025, the market is even predicting that the price will drop to $750. I absolutely do not advise you to ignore this information. Few people talk about it. But again, this is not my forecast. The market makes this forecast. And again, practically everything is included here. I remind you that there are several concepts. Either the market takes everything into account or the market does not take everything into account. There are still heated debates about this, but I cannot deny what the market is pricing in. I specifically show you that the market expects a decline. So the market incorporates news, information, reports, volatility, basically everything that can be factored in. It's all factored in here. Therefore, by January 2026, the market is basically saying that the company is more likely to be worth $20, and it's more likely to go bankrupt than to stay afloat. But again, this might not be precise information because for the long term, not all information has been factored in yet. So in reality, it's just small volumes. But still, I wouldn't disregard this either because if Bitcoin falls below $10,000, then the company risks facing problems. Again, this was already in 2022, there were rumors that the company could go bankrupt. I fully admit that in the beginning of a serious crisis, Bitcoin could plummet very strongly. And consequently, this company too could simply go bankrupt. I assume that the crisis could unfold at the end of 2024. Corrections in all markets, including Bitcoin. Well, if we have a serious enough crisis, then we could see Bitcoin at 10,000, even 5,000. By no means can this be ruled out. Well, if, of course, Bitcoin continues to rise to $100,000, then of course, this company could be worth $3,000 or $4,000. Well, again, I haven't considered this scenario at the moment. I don't believe in it yet. Well, again, I can't predict price movements, but I don't believe in this scenario yet. Based on mathematical analysis and mathematical statistics, it's currently not the best entry point for stocks, for buying this stock. Why? Because the risk-reward ratio is not in the investor's favor. I'm saying that the stock could even rise to $1,600, but again, it could plummet much lower. And consequently, you could just end up losing money. My opinion, the mathematical entry point right now is not the best. Also, I hope you don't think this is advice based solely on mathematics. It's just my assumption. Furthermore, I always mention about unforeseen price movements, meaning look at what could happen. For example, Bitcoin on Monday, Saturday, or Sunday, it could start to fall sharply. This could happen because of anything, political news or something else, and Bitcoin drops by 10 to 20%. And at that moment, the company on Monday could open with a sharp gap down by 50% meaning the company could plummet very strongly. If you have any large positions, especially with leverage, you could simply lose all your money. I'm just warning you, don't use leverage. It's actually very dangerous. It's better to play this company through options. But again, since the volatility here is very high, you need to know how to play it through options, which is quite difficult to do. Also, I remind you that my experiment will start very soon. I said that as soon as I receive my monetization, I will launch an absolutely new portfolio from scratch. At the moment, I've already submitted the application, and it's currently under review. It's actually taking quite a while to be processed, but as soon as everything is sorted out, I'll launch a new portfolio from scratch immediately. And all the money from monetization, from YouTube, absolutely all of it, will go towards funding this new account. I've already prepared a spreadsheet where everything will be explained in maximum detail, including which stocks I'm buying. There will be dividend breakdowns, as you can see, very detailed graphs, all my trades will be documented. I'll definitely attach this spreadsheet to the description. Everything will be as transparent as possible. Everything will be readily available. I can't wait for this experiment to begin. We'll be building the portfolio completely from scratch. I've already talked about the principles on which my portfolio will be formed in this video, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the start of this legendary experiment. Good luck to everyone.